Look at you, boy. You having fun? <laughs> you like to be outside, don't you? Oh. Ah, puppy. Ah, yeah. Let's go over to your sister. Let's see. Yeah, but that's the way Toby. Alright, Daddy's gotta go. Gotta go out to the land. Good morning everyone, we are back. Today may be a perfect day to work. We've got a light breeze, but heavy overcast, so we're not bright, hot, scalding sun. Last couple days, it's been blazing hot here, so it's hard to work when it's that hot. Um, interestingly enough, we could actually use the rain. I don't know if we're going to get rain, but we could use it. Hopefully today we'll finish up with the tiller. Because tomorrow i got to run out and get all the trees. So we can plant everything Friday. As you can see, here's the nut we put on this. These are pretty solid bolts. And... These nuts, the little nylon in there, make sure that they don't back off in vibration. So, I have faith. We're not going to have the same problem after this. But I do have replacement bolts if they do break. The things that make you happy change so much as you get older. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning when I see this machine. Up in New York I had a rototiller that was not nearly as good as this one. It had front tines on it. It was a big bulk. It was a pain in the butt. Man, this one, it's got the drive shaft. It, the wheels drive themselves. You got a forward motion. You got a reverse motion. You can spin the tines forward. You can spin the tines backwards. And the thing just eats through this hard soil. Now, we did take the pick and kind of dig this up a little bit. We're using the hard, the hard soil uh, mode. So what the hard soil mode is, the tines spin backwards while the wheels pull forward. The soft soil is tines spin forward, wheels move forward. So we have to break this stuff up, and once we have it all broken up, then we're going to come through and run it again, forward tines, uh, forward motion with the wheels but this machine is just so superior to any of the ones I've had before it's just wonderful to watch it work this is gonna be hard to believe but that bolt broke in a matter of minutes and I don't even know what to think about this I don't understand of all the places the tines have shear bolts on them you would think the tines would be what breaks or the bolt on the drive is what breaks I, I don't understand that at all it just doesn't that just doesn't meet with what I it just doesn't fit I'm gonna have to try and do a little research and find out why that's happening we have several bolts we can keep replacing them and we're hoping that we break up the really hard spot. See, this is the problem. Right now, we're dealing with a really tough area. So I think what I'm going to do is bring the... That's an area we've not got any water to. What I think I'm going to do is get the pump and get some water into this section over here where we're going to bring the tiller next to try and soften this ground so we have less trouble with it with the tiller. Well, here we are. This is our third bolt for some reason for some reason these are just snapping left and right I don't understand it I have to wonder if that was the issue that the guy that I bought this was having and that's why he got rid of it for what he paid what I paid for it because I really did get a great deal on this but to be honest if the only thing wrong with this is that the bolts break every hour or so I think I can find a way around that. I may call Cub Cadet and see what they have to say because this is an issue that needs to be dealt with. I don't understand it. You know, Cub Cadet, they make good stuff. And this is a pretty good machine, but why on earth the bolts would break on this tire? That just doesn't make sense to me. You know, we've got 10 of these bolts. 
if uh, they break every hour, then we'll be able to get through the day at least. Then by hopefully tomorrow, I'll, I'll try and get a hold of Cub Cadet and see. Maybe I'll look them up now, see if I can send an email to find out what, uh, what the deal is. Why these bolts are breaking like that, because it just seems crazy that the bolts would break. I would expect shear bolts to be on the tines, and I'd have issues with those breaking, with the soil as rough as it is. But the fact that this is what breaks, I don't... I don't quite I don't know what to do about that. This is this is where we're gonna be tilling out to. So there's still a lot to do. Alright, the goal is to bring it out about 30 feet so we can plant this section. What I've been doing is running water from this branch into this area. You can see I've got a bunch of water here. I filled this massive crack with compost so when we till it it'll till that compost in and I'm just running the pipes a little farther down to get patches of water in these areas it's gonna be difficult to get water into this but this is what we're doing just trying to get this ground softer it is looking pretty good though we are digging this stuff up but it's gonna take a lot to get this dug up really well You're gonna be able to take a step, huh? Standing up there all on your own, you're getting big. What do you think? You're gonna do that? You're gonna take a step while Daddy's home? Daddy come home for lunch. Let's see it. Getting your balance. How are you? I'm fine, Grandpa. How are you? No, no, no way. Worth a try. Going home, had a little lunch, took care of a few things with the family. Now we're back here, and it looks like we're making good progress. I think what happens is, because this ground is so rock hard, that tiller is working, and it, it's doing, it, it's running into some issues. That's why that bolt is breaking. I also think we have an issue with the belt. The belt isn't tight enough. I'll have to take a look at that later. As we make progress breaking the ground, we're, we're seeing better results. It isn't burning through bolts as much because the ground is getting soft as we start tilling it up. So the more progress we make, the better the results are. All right, what we're going to do is take this cover off. We're going to take this cover off and take a look at how loose that belt is because it's, it's really loose. If we can get it tightened, we can hopefully make this more efficient. Interestingly enough, I think we found the problem. This is the tensioner for that belt. And this had come loose and was all the way down here. So I just tighten this up and now when we pull this tight we've got real good tension on that belt. So that's what happened. We don't need to do all that other stuff. Now I should have known it's always a simple thing. I was trying to figure out how to adjust the tension on that belt. So I took a good look at this whole setup and it turns out here's our tensioner right here easy good design too all right guys we're uh, packing up uh, it looks like we might actually be getting rain which would be perfect we've been tilling all day we got quite a bit done burned through 11 bolts we're on our very last bolt right now i'd really like to come back here and till this up some more tomorrow i don't know what's going to happen here what i think we're going to do is just leave it i'm hoping we get rain we're done for now guys we're gonna head home I've got a few things to do back at the house tonight and uh, that's where we're gonna stand we it's it's actually reasonably early but it's the way it is we're gonna head out we'll see you guys later and 
Hopefully tomorrow we're gonna get some new trees. God bless guys.